erased from the landscape. But all of those artifacts were pushed back with the house. There were a lot of artifacts that were in the house, which is still a question that we're trying to answer why. Um, did Lena and Edward leave so much behind? Um, but the, the archaeology was focused on trying to figure out the position of the house, the parameters of the property, um, basic archaeological questions. What is the material culture? What, is it, what do the artifacts tell us about the people who lived there? Um, and I've been recently um, asked, and I would say in some ways called to task, about, well, what artifacts can you directly relate to Du Bois? Nothing. If I said that, I would really be making it up. I cannot, artifacts don't necessarily go with a person. And so that's a part of the larger dialogue that we are talking through about this being the boyhood home site of W.E.B. Du Bois, where he lived only from the age of one to three. Five. One to five <laughs> um, in his 80 something, 95 years. But from one to five, he lived there. But we can't, so we have to expand in some ways the archaeology to talk about those families that lived there and left behind material that talk about black life in rural New England. Um, it's very important. Speaking of artifacts, um